The fuel crisis, as we all know, is a big problem in today's world. And it has been there since many, many years. Scientists are busy forgetting their days and nights to solve this crisis. And the only thing which comes out is biofuels. That is, fuels generated by bioproducts. There are some parts in the world where scientists are using edible oils for making fuel. But this experiment can also cause global food crisis. To avoid all these problems, Malwa region is contributing a huge support by giving a machine that can produce biodiesel from Jetrofa. Now, we should know first what exactly this Jetrofa is. Jetrofa is commonly known as Ratanjot or Jangli Arandi. The origin of Jetrofa is America, but in India, we can find it here and there. It is an evergreen plant with 3 to 4 meter long height. The leaves of Jetrofa is of heart shape. Jetrofa plant is full of latex. It is flourished by the bunch of flowers and capsule shaped fruits in the month of rainy season. The green fruits change its color into black after some time. A single fruit contain at least three to four seeds which are black in color and contain 30% of oil. The amount of hydrocarbon in this oil is much much higher and that is why it is used for making biodiesel. Seeds are fed in the hopper of the oil expeller. Oil is expelled in expeller and we get oil and oil cake. This oil is filtered in filter press to remove sediments. This filtered oil is filled in biodiesel machine. It's heated to the required temperature in the machine for transesterification. In the meanwhile, required quantity of methanol is pumped in the machine and catalyst is added. This is mixed thoroughly. The mixture is added to heated oil and reaction takes place. The reactants are transferred to settling vessel. Here, biodiesel and glycerine are separated. Biodiesel floats on the top and brown thick layer of glycerine is deposited in the bottom of the vessel. Biodiesel is siphoned out from the vessel. Specific gravity test. Fill the measuring cylinder with biodiesel. Allow it to attend its specified temperature of 15 degrees Celsius. Now dip hydrometer in it. Allow to settle and read the specific gravity. It should be 0.87 to 0.9. Acid value. 0.1% lye solution is titrated with 1 ml of oil mixed with 10 ml of isopropyl alcohol. For pH 8.5, that is pink color in presence of phenolphthalein solution. The quantity of lye required is approximately double of acid value. It should be below 0.8. Flash point. Swiss is done by closed cup Pen Sky Martin flash tester. The cup is filled with biodiesel up to the mark and replaced in tester with power switched on and thermometer placed. The wick is light. Now, for every 3 degrees Celsius rise of temperature, the flame is applied to test cup. The temperature at which flash occurs is noted. It should be greater than 100 degrees Celsius. Copper corrosion. The test tube is filled with biodiesel and a test strip of copper is placed in it. The test tube is put in constant temperature water bath at the rate 50 degrees Celsius for 3 hours. 
After some time, same test is inspected for corrosion on it. It should be below level 1, that is, some color change in the copper strip is allowed. Kinematic viscosity. This is tested by viscometer which is kept at constant temperature of 40 degrees Celsius. Biodiesel is filled in the viscometer with the help of a sucker bull. Biodiesel is sucked up to upper mark and then released to drop up to lower mark. The time taken to reach it is noted by stopwatch. This is multiplied with viscometer constant to get viscosity of test sample. Water content. BIS recommends it by tabletop centrifuge, but we use Carl Fisher apparatus as it is more accurate. The Carl Fisher apparatus is filled with Carl Fisher reagent. Now, 1 ml of biodiesel is added to test jar and process is started. When end point is reached, we measure quantity of Carl Fisher reagent used, which is multiplied by reagents constant to get percent moisture content in sample. It should be below 6.05 per.